couple of small things first. I saw earlier today the um, uh, an update for PowerShell. Uh, PowerShell 7.3 came out, was released today, went GA. Um, looked like a couple of small things. Um, but, you know, always something to keep an eye out on when some of these core components um, get an update. So I wanted to share that. Well, since you mentioned that PowerShell 7 was fresh, uh, we absolutely must test if you can eject that to WinPE. That sounds like a good good test case. Yeah, let me, let, let me try that right away, in fact. Um, so um, a while back, Microsoft added in um, uh, let's see here. Uh, quite a while ago, Microsoft added in support for Windows PowerShell into WinPE, but that is obviously not PowerShell Core. And PowerShell Core, if you are a little bit uh, creative, uh, you can add to Windows PE. And I, I learned last week that you can also add it into uh, WinPE for ARM, in fact, which doesn't support native PowerShell at all. Uh, so that's your only option for, for ARM-based WinPE. But um, I wrote a post back this uh, summer on, on adding PowerShell 7, so I figured we could uh, try out the, the fresh release for today. So uh, let's see here. Bit of Google. No, get away. Thank you. <laughs> uh, PowerShell. Would have been nice winning on Powerball. That was a good... Turn out this week. Uh, two billion, not too shabby. Not a, that would have uh, been nice. All right, <laughs> let's see. Uh, must be in releases, I think. Mm, where is the. Where's the Windows release for 3.0? Let's see. I see the zip file for it. That's the one. You go, I will drop. Um, ah, few, wait a minute. Here we go. Oh, it shows more. <laughs> that explains it. Was it. Collect collapsed all right <laughs> gonna download uh 7.3 uh here shouldn't take too long i don't think to be fair i don't think i'm used to that many releases being on the uh or on that page yeah what's gonna go wrong in the live demo hey that's uh... mm -hmm. All right, so here we have our little zip file with PowerShell 7.3. Um, I'll just put it something temporary for now. Uh, excellent. And then we have a little script here from the blog post. Going to borrow a few lines from that one. And open up um, a PowerShell prompt or a tool. Here we go. Let's see, we need to change that path to the zip file for sure. So just gonna see it, that its structure looks about the same. Yeah, I think so. Uh, worst case, it will not work. And I have to troubleshoot that later, but heck, uh, why not try this? All right. That looks somewhat good. Delete the main existing folder. Create some more folders. Make a copy from the ADK. Add some boot files to it. Try to select the whole line this time. Uh, mount it. Um, And to save some time, I will skip to add some of the native components. Um, I'm only going to use WMI because I kind of need that one uh, in the boot image. Okay. 
All right, and then we'll add in PowerShell 7. And set some environment variables offline. Do some cleanup and unload the hive. Always exciting. <laughs> Create the WinPHL file that actually starts PowerShell 7. And write an unattended file to do some magic. Dismount the file after that. Uh, for those of you that just tuned in, we're trying to add the freshly released PowerShell 7.3 into WinPE. First time I try it, so don't be too mad if it doesn't work, but I have added in earlier releases, so I have, I have hope. So now I'm going to create the bootable ISO. Kaboom. And that ISO file is where? It is here. So let's uh, go to a virtual machine. Test 01, as good as any. And uh, mount it on that ISO, which was here. All right. My server is a little bit tired today, uh, for whatever reason. But, uh, I haven't used up all memory just yet. I'm sure we can make that happen. <laughs> yeah. Fire up a couple more of those VMs. Yeah. I wasn't planning on running out of memory. I planned to have <laughs> a little bit left. <laughs> Very nice. Shall we try something? Uh, what I like about the same instance is that it actually allow you to tab in between mm -hmm. the different classes, whereas get up in my object doesn't. But uh, It's not the most Very exciting nice. command, but it's PowerShell. So, all right, PowerShell works. PowerShell 7.3 works in WinP, I should say. All right.